You're probably thinking, Ivan looks really confident in what he's doing. Maybe he thought of this before, but let me tell you, I did not. What is up guys? Welcome to my kitchen over here, everybody. So as you guys know, and if you're not living under a rock, you know that we are in self-quarantine. Sometimes I'm running low in food, but I like to wait until I'm low in a lot of things and then go to the store. That way I can do everything in one run. But in the meantime, I have to like use ingredients and food that I basically don't want to eat, but I have it, so I have to eat it. And I'm grateful that I have it because I don't want to be hungry. I will be going through my pantries and my fridge and all around my kitchen and trying to find ingredients to use to complete a whole meal. All right, let's check here first. Boom. All right, so we got a lot of cans of beans and we got some soup and there's some pasta uh, and we got olive oil. Oh, this could be interesting. Uh, oh, yes, so we can use tortillas. I see some tuna. Here in the fridge I know we got some onions so I can use this for the tuna. There's an open can of tomato sauce. I just opened yesterday so before you come at me know that this is still fresh. I see half a lemon here. It has at least a little squeeze. <laughs> All right so far what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a couple of these tortillas Put it here and then pop them in the oven for a few minutes so that they can get crunchy and it'll be like a tostada. Because this is corn tortilla, so I'm sure it's gonna get crunchy. Hopefully, fingers crossed, let's see. So we got one, two, here you go. We'll pop this in the oven. I put the oven on 375 in bake. I don't know if that's correct, but I'm not following any instructions, so I'm doing my best here. And because I don't know how long it has to be there, I'm just gonna be checking it every like five minutes and hoping it doesn't burn. Let's open the can of tuna. Instead of just mixing it with mayo like a lot of people always do and some seasoning and that's it, I'm gonna actually cook this can tuna with some tomato sauce, onions, and a few other things that I find around. So now what I'm doing, I'm really close to this. I'm gonna cut this onion and I'm gonna chop it. You're probably thinking, Ivan looks really confident in what he's doing. Maybe he thought of this before, but let me tell you, I did not and I'm hoping that it tastes good. Now let's pour some olive oil. There you go. I don't want the tuna to burn, so this will help, hopefully. All right, el momento de la verdad ha llegado, así que vamos a poner la tuna aquí a que se cocine. Tu sabes, bien fancy. We're gonna put some of this tomato sauce. Oh my god. So it's a little bit under control now, and I'm gonna add the onions. I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro inside of the tuna. As far as seasoning goes, I do have adobo because of course, why won't I have adobo? But I also found this Creole seasoning that I once used for a paella. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this. Do I dare adding some spinach? Oh, let's see. Oh no, I'm doing it. Oops. So I want the consistency of the tuna to be a little bit more red. So I found some achote, sazón goya achote, and I'm gonna put a little bit of it. Ahí está el atún. Wow, qué interesante se ve. Okay, the tortillas are done porque un poquito más y se queman, así que deja sacarla. Hopefully the other side is good too. Wow, I think it's gonna look good. And it's gonna taste good, that's what matters. All right, I'm gonna look for some final condiments. I knew I had this, crema mexicana, which will be perfect. Y aquí hay un poquito de queso parmesano. I'm gonna use this too. I'm gonna get one of these. Lo voy a poner aquí. And then, I'm gonna put it on top. I wanna make it look pretty, so I'm gonna make sure it pours in a presentable way. Oh yeah, oh my god. Look at that. Wow. I'm gonna add some queso parmesano on top, just a sprinkle. Boom, squeeze a little bit of lime. All right, and there you have it, guys. This is my creation, cooking with what I got. I happen to have a roommate with me, so I'm not the only one who's gonna try it, so I made a second one. I'm gonna give her the pretty one because she's gonna be the judge. So this is 
a corn tostada mm -hmm. with some tuna. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And it looks like this. It's a little bit spicy, but I think you can handle it. And then I put some crema mexicana on top with some Parmesan cheese. Mm. So, cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Mmm. It's good. It's good. The Parmesan is like, whoa. From one to ten. You can be as honest as you can. You know, I just made this, so it's not like I have any pride on this. But. If you have to rate it, give me it's your rating. Good. I would have used another cheese other than the Parmesan, I think. Like which one? Like just maybe just regular like shredded cheese. Mm, okay, cool. But other than that, it's good. So I think I'll give it like a seven because mm. of the cheese. Oh, damn, she really went low because of that cheese. <laughs> you saw how it looks, so rate it in the comments based on presentation. And that was it, guys. I cooked with what I got. Bye. Stay safe, wash your hands. Follow like.